guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to connect to an SQL database using C Sharp ASP.NET. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests on how to on ASP.NET, so I finally decided to make a tutorial on it. In particular, I've gotten one request that has had a lot of uh, support behind it, how to connect to an SQL database. Now, as you can imagine, it's going to be a little bit different code than in our C Sharp offline connecting to a database. The reason I say this is because you need a server, a password, a username, and the name of the database. Uh, for our example, I'm going to be working offline, but I'm going to be connecting to a... Uh, my code is going to imagine that there's a database online that I want to connect to. The only thing is I'm not putting it into a website, so there's no way that I can reference that database. Hopefully in my later tutorials, I'll show you how to implement it. I'm probably going to do it in my second tutorial. I'm going to show you how to implement it to a web page using my favorite editor, Dreamweaver. So let's get started here. You're going to want to hit New Project, and then under the Web, sorry, New Project, under the Visual C Sharp tab and Web tab, go to ASP.NET Web Application. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to leave it the default name and hit OK. Now let it load up. Once it's loaded up, you're going to want to go to the Solution Explorer and right-click on Web Application and hit Add New Item and Web Form. And then you're going to want to come down here to this bar and hit Design and click inside of the box going across the top and hit Add a Button and Add a Text Box. And then we're going to want to double-click on the button. Now we're going to want to go up to our Using Statements and do using system.data.sql semicolon using system.data.sql client now if y'all watch my C sharp tutorials you'll know that we we added these using statements to reference the SQL connection SQL command etc so we're going to want to do SQL connection connection is equal to new SQL connection open parentheses double quotations now the first thing that you're going to want to do is server is equal to localhost or whatever you want none of these credentials are right because of course this is a tutorial we're working offline so there's no really there's no real database I'm not connecting to my uh, website database so server equals localhost semi semicolon and then UID is equal to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to do VADLAC12 semicolon. P password or PWD is equal to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to do how about using. And then for the database, we're going to call it blah. And then end it with uh, double quotations and parentheses now and then semicolon now let's go over that basically what's happening is it's defining the SQL connection and it's making a new instance of it and then it's going to tell it what to connect with for example we're doing our server that it's going to connect to is localhost it's just a made up name and then our ID our user information is Vadlock12 is what we thought of, and then our password is using, and our database is named blah, and then we end it off. Now, once we've done that, we're going to want to add a try statement. So try, enter, curly bracket, curly bracket, and inside of the curly brackets, you're going to want to do connection dot open is equal to open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon, take out the equal to, sorry. And then text box one dot text dot text is equal to connected. Now, of course, this won't actually say connected. I'm sorry. I just don't. For since this is my first tutorial on ASP.NET and it's a very beginner tutorial, I'm not going to show how to implement a web page. This is just a real fast tutorial on how to connect to one. And then catch, open parentheses, exception. 
exception, E, close parentheses, enter, open bra curly brackets, close curly brackets. And inside of the curly brackets, you're going to want to do text box one dot text is equal to not connected. And sorry, make sure you take out the E and exception. And then we're going to hit debug. And it should pop up with this message. This this page can be cannot be run in debug mode because debugging is not enabled in web.connect config file. What would you like to do? I'm just going to do modify the web.config file to enable debugging and hit OK. You see it connected to a little development server. It won't it still won't connect, but you know, it can try, right? <laughs> so, once this loads up, I'm going to hit the button and it's going to say loading. Now, of course, uh, there's like a 30 second timeout I think it is for connecting to the SQL database before it will show not connected. Um, if it was connected to the database it would automatically pop up connected. As you can see it says not connected, it was trying, it failed and it popped up the message. So it shows you the co code works, it just needs the database to connect. So stay tuned for my next tutorial which I'm hoping to have up tomorrow. I'll implement it into my webpage and show you that it actually connects to my website which will be a great help to all those people wanting to know how to connect. Uh, hopefully sometime I can work on a login tutorial with ASP.NET or something like that. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. My website is www.computertutorials.ismywebsite.com. Uh, send me an email at vadlock12.com. Thanks.